little mighty sound thing. Right, hopefully if I can get this on, because it's not meant for this, that uh, it'll take at least some degree of the wind. Hopefully that's better. Uh, I'm having to put it over the corner. In fact, I'll show you what I mean, all right? This is why I assume this would work, and it's not as, as much as, as good as I thought it was. Now, let's assume this phone, which is nearly the same size as this, right? Now, I thought the camera, that the microphone was on the little hole at the bottom. It's not. It's a little tiny hole next to the lens, so I'm going to hold this next to the lens and hope that these fluffy bits don't get all over the place. It's been a while since we did one. The last one was Waincast 100, so this is number 101. Um, now, I've got a lot of my, I think I've got 90% of these archived on one of my drives, right? Um, a lot of the recent ones are missing because I couldn't be asked to save them. Um, but I break them down in folders of series, so I suppose this would make this series three. You know, and I've got the series broken in years and stuff like that. It's all very complex, but that's got fuck all to do with what I'm talking about. So what have I been up to lately? And why haven't I been uh, out for my walks? And why haven't I been doing stuff uh, on here? Well, to be quite honest, I've been uh, both ill and busy. Never a good combination. Uh, I know some of you know that I was ill, um, very ill in, in Holland. Uh, got, back, got through the, that by the skin of my teeth. Then, I'll just put that over there, make a bit more. You may get some fluffy bits blown in front of the lens. Fuck all I can do about it. I had a couple of other health problems as well. Now the chest infection, I've still got it. Probably not the wisest idea in the world to go walking out in high winds up and down fucking hills. Um, I've had x-rays and blood tests and all sorts of shit. In fact, I've got to make an appointment sometime today to go back to the doctors and find out what the score is. Uh, but we'll see, there will be a fluffy bit of something hanging out my pocket. Um, on top of that, I've also had an uh, abscess on my leg, on my left leg, the size of an egg, right? So I go to the nurse today to make sure that's gone completely. Well, it's not gone completely, but enough for me to come out for a walk, albeit painfully. Uh, again, not the wisest move in the world to go walking six miles, although today it'll probably be eight, because I haven't been up for weeks, well over a month. Um, you know, so sometimes you just got to do what you've got to do in life. And I need to get out. I'll be stuck in the house. The furthest I've been is either taking my son to school, the corner shop, or a couple of occasions up into the main part of town, a couple of miles away, you know, just do stuff at the bank. That's as far as I've been for a, at least a month more. Um, but yeah, so health's not been too fantastic of late. Um, but again, I'm getting older. I've been pushing my body to its limits and well beyond breaking point for quite a number of years. And now I'm getting older. You know, I'm 40 next year, all beaten me, which is sort of halfway through. But, you know, um, the body said I've had enough, basically. So I'm going to slow down a bit. And it gave me time to pause and reflect uh, on the whole reasons behind this. I've covered this a few things, but I want to you know, work out why exactly I'm, I'm doing this, you know, because if, I, if I'm doing this to basically go as far as I can go in the 3D world, I've probably done it, right, or come close to it, uh, which sort of loses your motivation a bit. I don't have uh, anything to prove anymore, which might sound a good thing, but it's not, because then you lose some of your motivation. Um, so I'm about to try and find what my motivation is going to be. And I came to the conclusion that I do it for me, I do it to get, keep getting better. I've done more models than bloody God, you know what I mean? Thousands of bloody things and I've got terabytes and terabytes full of drives full of models over the years. Um, so it isn't basically just doing it for me now. There is a point where I could well say, you know something? I don't need a lot of the stuff that goes with it. You know? And I can end up closing my side down and just basically doing it all for me in, in the workroom and that's it. You know, but that's not my time at the moment. I don't know when that time will be. Uh, it could be now, it could be 20 years time, I don't know. But one day I'll wake up and I'll either not enjoy it or not enjoy the shit that goes with it. And when I stop enjoying the shit that goes with it, I'll stop putting up with the shit that goes with it. Um, that's the day, time I caught the day. I've said a few times, a, I do a lot of different things. 
um, so it's not a biggie for me. Um, although, yes, I would miss it, but I promised my son I'd keep doing it because he wants Daddy to do the monsters. So we'll see for a while. But yeah, it's a, it may sound a bit of a downer, but it's not. It's just I need to reevaluate my life and where I stand. I've been busy behind the scenes trying to um, get funding for you know, set up a full production company. That's what I was referring to. But unfortunately, Mr. David Cameron, our beloved fucking Prime Minister, uh, managed to put pay to that idea in one fell swoop. Uh, all the stuff I was basically had sort of pegged and arranged and all the shit I'd went through uh, turned out that when he made those decisions and signed all those lovely little papers and laws, that fucked that all up because it would be expensive and it wouldn't just be made, it would be employing other people. So we'll have to see what happens basically. And we'll take this off first, mic. I hope the time is right. I'll have to put it back on now. But yeah, it's um, it's one of those interesting times for me. Because I'm also doing, I've uh, been busy doing uh, album cover, an album cover and the covers for the singles for the Spanish industrial metal band Blood. Uh, so you might want to, if you're not familiar with them, which I, I assume some of you won't be if you're not Spanish. They're sort of like Rammstein, but Spanish, but they have a different sound. Uh, I've done the album cover, which I haven't shown yet because uh, the final uh, 4K render, I'm rather proud of it, to be honest. Um, while it's not the most complex thing I've ever done, I think it certainly looks one of the nicest. And after doing all those bloody various females, the, the Mudbox series in 3D Creative that I did this year, seven months of my bloody life, <laughs> um, it's nice to get back to some monsters and shit. Uh, they've also asked to use, and I've just put the single out with um, one of my sort of model two year old. Remember Old Wrinkly Bastard? Some of you have been watching these a while, remember that one. Well, they wanted to use that, but basically put like sort of priest costume on them. Um, and I wasn't too over the moon, it's the reason why I haven't promoted the shit out of it, because it's an old model, and I feel like I do much better. I've done what I can, I even offered to do a brand new one, but they wanted that particular model. I was allowed minimal tidy up. Um, so it's not really a one that I was over the moon with, to be honest. But uh, the album cover, great. The next single, um, which is, well, the first, I'll tell you about the single, the single uh, Monsignor, is basically, it is about abuse in the Catholic Church, right? And I think it's, I'm pretty right in saying that it's released the day, or was released the day of the Pope's visit to Spain. So I need to say there could be a Catholic fatwa against me. Which is a bit ironic, me being born a Catholic, although I'm not actually anything, to be honest, I'm, I'm me, right? I have my own beliefs. Now, the next single, I must use the name of it, but it's basically, um, about uh, it's an anti bullfighting, so it's about bullfighting. I'm saying anti bullfight, but it's about it, right? Because I think that the band said to me that what they don't like the fact is Spain's known for two things bullfighting and paella. Um, now, I did do one of this minotaur with these flat horns made of flames and glowing red eyes. Nice, nice image, right? Unfortunately, it may well, if they put that out as a cover, could well cause riots in Spain because they have this thing. As it called the Toro Flambo. So basically, they set fire to bull's horns when they're alive, right? And make them run down the streets and shit. And there's a lot of people like that stuff. It's sort of tradition. Um, so, <laughs> we're having to use another version without the flames, with normal horns. Um, I'll still use that one as an alternate version of the cover. Get them hairs out of the way. Because I like it, right? It says it's a powerful image. But I also don't want some sort of weird. Uh, fatwa from the people who enjoy bullfighting, right? Uh, I try not to make judgments one way or another, but I'm not exactly in favour of shit like that, right? Not a big fan of this sort of making animals suffer for your enjoyment. Much more fun to make humans suffer, he said jokingly. Wait, let's have a look at the time. Right, it's need time to cause D on this one. But yeah, so have yourself a look out. If you want to go to their website, it's uh, and have you actually see, it's, they listen to the song and stuff. Uh, and see the ironic sort of single artwork that I don't like. It's bloodblood.es, right? Espana, es, right? Blood.es, and you have a look. Uh, but I'll see you, watch off the album artwork, I'll give you a heads up when it's out, and the next single, because they are nice, right? Nice stuff. Right, see you in the second part.